Yo, what is good? Okay. Okay, we're gonna get into numbers in ZTN for some reason. And I'm glad I didn't see game one. Um, all I saw was John doing down tilt and tornado. But as I seen the replay, he caught him with the... What do you catch him with? He, oh, the, tra the track room into the dash attack. Yeah, that's nonsense. It's, you know, it's, it's funny because it's very similar to what Zola does to people at the ledge. So it's like... Yeah, you hold that. But... <laughs> okay, we're going into... Uh, Sword Fighter, Zelda on PS2. Ooh, okay, and John immediately going aggressively off stage against ZTN. And going for a down tilt to upbeat. And the thing about that is, uh, that is true, but uh, depending on how John tilts his, his upbeat, ZTN can fall out. So it's very DI dependent on what John does. Uh, right now. John has been, John's been John has been going very aggressively off stage against ZTN and has been paying off for him so far. And um Yeah man, right now John is in the lead. It's a pretty good advantage. Um whole stock lead. And John is doing a very good job at keeping ZTN out and also keeping ZTN's traps to a minimum. And as I say that John down tilts him and D10 punches him with a forward air. And the only reason John got punched for that because he got a little greedy. Because Sword Fire down tilt is very plus on shield. And uh, he caught John on the counter attack trying to put more pressure on Z10 shield and Z10 just wasn't having it. Mashing on mashing on buttons that are safe. You know, Zelda way. And yeah. And John, he's still maintaining that distance where he's putting Zelda in 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 threat but at the same time Zelda doesn't have enough enough room to really set up her traps and John's really taking advantage of that because one thing that Zelda can't do because Zelda cannot box very well so yeah John is playing very patiently it's very good on him the ZTN uh, try to bring us back you know still not at a bad deficit and he's doing a very good job at taking John's down tilts and just Staying away from them until John does it again, because John has a tendency to do more than one down tilt, and after you do that first down tilt, it starts to get stale and it's less safe on shield. So, Z10 tries to punish the attacks after the down tilt, and he's been pretty successful so far. Um, but right now, John John is pushing him to the ledge, and doing a very good job at it. You know, just, just walking down ZTN, and that's the thing. Um, when Zelda set up their nonsense, uh, what happens is that players get really scared. And they let Zelda do whatever they want, and they run into things. And what John is doing, he's walking down Zelda with his sword and his items and just taking stage a little bit at a time and not getting too flustered when Zelda does some nonsense. Um, right now, Z10's doing a good job of kicking John to the ledge. Even though he's not getting any of these kill throws or these kill hits, he's been keeping John to the ledge. But with that being said, John immediately takes stage back. And John has been going a lot for these reverse upbees right now at the ledge. Um, hasn't got one yet. Ooh, and Z10 tried to reverse that with a back air of his own. Yeah. Yeah, Z10 caught John just going low. And that's what I'm saying. John staying at that distance where if Z10 sets up the knight, it's not really a threat to him. Because Zelda's burst options aren't very good. You, Zelda's almost have to commit to a dash tech when they do something like that. And John punishing that dash tech on shield. And very punishable on shield. So, John takes that 2-0. What is up, my people?